Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to learn ETL process means extract, transform and load process. So let's see what is ETL process. So we already know what is data warehouse. Data warehouse is a system used for reporting and data analysis and is considered a core component of business intelligence. So now where ETL is used? So it is the process that combines the data from multiple data sources into a single consistent data store that is loaded into a data warehouse. For example, as you can see here, we have RDBMS, SQL Server and flat files. These all are just data sources. Means in some data, they have RDBMS. In some cases, there are SQL Server and in some cases there are different files so from that we have to extract data so now what is staging area or we can say landing area the process of performing operation on multiple data and make data in single format and storing it in data warehouse is called staging area and its process and now this whole process is known as ETL means extraction, transformation and loading, right? So let's see the first step which is data extraction from various source system. Source system can be RDBMS and files. Some files are in JSON format and some are in XML format. And then the data will extract it from source system and the main motive of this step is to retrieve all the required data that we want from the source system. Now the design of the extraction step should be such that it does not have negative effect on the source system, right? Now we have done with the extraction of data. But now we have to save this old data in the single file format, right? So now this transformation step includes cleaning filtering, validating and applying rules to extracted data. Means the main objective of this step is to load the extracted data into targeted database with clean and general format. Why? Because various source system have their own file format, right? For example, there are two sources A and B. Now the date format of A is followed by date, month and year. But the date format of B is followed by year, month and date, right? So in data transformation, this date are bring into one standard format, right? Now the other things that are carried out in this step are cleaning. Cleaning means removing of noise or simplify the things like word mail to M and word female to simple letter F, right? Filtering. So filtering select only certain columns to load which are important. Now enrichment. Enrichment is used to improve the things or give qualities. Like if we want to make full name more qualitative and understanding, we can separate there to first name, middle name and last name. Splitting. It is the process we are splitting one column to multiple. Now joining, it's make data together from multiple sources. In some cases, there are no need to transformation and those data are known as rich data. Now loading. So we have done with the extracting, we have done with the transformation and now it is time to load our transformed data to targeted database, right? There is no use of this rich data until it is loaded in targeted database. Now we can load data more efficiently if we use index to database. So to make data load efficiently, it is necessary to index the database. ETL process can be run parallel means our extraction step take time. So our second step of transformation take place simultaneously and prepare the data for third step of loading. So as soon as some data is ready, 
it is loaded without complete of previous step so this is how etl means extraction transformation and load process is work i hope you all guys are clear with this concept if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section below so if you found this video helpful then like and share this video to your friend and stay tuned for upcoming sessions thank you and have a nice day